Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to change your old pea trap and upgrade it into a bottle trap, just like what you see here, more modern looking for an open look. So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in once again. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. The first thing you need to do is to drain out your old P-trap, put a basin underneath your P-trap. I'm using my channel lock pliers so that I can loosen all these slip joint nuts. There's a total of six total on this assembly that I have. Depending on how yours look like, once you take these off, there should be some water that are trapped on the P-trap. So just drain those out. I'm also disassembling the mechanism that controls the drain plug. As you can see here, this one is the one that controls the top that's connected to the sink. I'm not throwing this away. I'm just going to put this aside and probably store it for future use. Now continue to disassemble the drain pipe that is located on the bottom of the sink along with the joint ball valve that is controlling that drain plug. As you can see that once you disassemble that the drain plug can easily be taken out and you can just unscrew that drain pipe and also this drain frame cap on the top. Now what I'm using here is the bottle trap. I will leave the link down below and where you can get this product. I really like this because it has a really nice satin finish onto it. It comes with this inch and a quarter piping and also this sweet pop-off drain plug feature, which I'll show you in a bit. Here you can see this is the drain cap. It's nicely protected with the plastic cover and it has that nice satin finish as well. And you can also see that this assembly has that pop-up feature. Once you press and depress onto this, it actually goes up and down so you don't have to use that mechanism rod that you saw earlier. So once you open this bottle trap, there is also a piping included, uh, inch and a quarter pipe that will attach to the drain piping and all this material. I'll leave it in the description down below so you can know where I got this assembly. Okay, so now let's disassemble everything including the nut and also all these uh, plastic rubber washers. Now this washer right here, I, I really don't like. Um, if you do get this, I, I try not to use it, so don't use it and just throw that away. It's pretty much useless. It will cause a leak, but it's up to you. Here I'm using my plumber's putty. I'll leave this also in the description down below where I got this. So check this out. This will definitely help on preventing any types of leaks. Now. This is a clay-like texture. I really like this because it is the stain resistant type. It doesn't leave any stains in your porcelain. What did you need to do is pretty much take out a little bit at a time and just pretty much knead it like dough. Here I'm just rolling it into a little tiny snake. Now after you do roll it into a snake or a worm, whichever you want to call it, I am going to be applying it on the bottom of the drain frame right underneath like I would just see right here. Now I'm probably not saying the right term sometimes, drain frame, it's totally up to you. For me, that's what I call it. Now I'm putting a pretty thick amount on there just so that I can have enough to cover the whole surface area. Now after you do that, make sure you use a microfiber towel to clean off the perimeter area of where you're gonna be placing this. And you're just gonna place it right on the center, make sure it's nice and centered and press right under it. Make sure you do apply a nice amount of pressure and make sure that you take out the excess which pretty much kind of squeezes off the side. Now don't throw this away. This is still good. You can pretty much store this back into your uh, plumber's putty container and make sure you cap it off so it doesn't dry out. The rest you're just going to clean off with your microfiber towel and continue pressing onto it just in case some excess comes out. Now you're going to take another set of plumber's putty and roll it into a worm or a snake. And again, this step is very important because I did this without it before and it started leaking. You're going to apply that plumber's putty right underneath that drain pipe, right on the perimeter underneath as you can see here. Now this is very important because it will leak if you don't do this and apply the rest of the plastic washer provided and the bolt and make sure you tighten it with your channel lock pliers. There's going to be excess while you tighten the nut so make sure you take off that excess. You can do it with your fingers and then you can reuse this excess. Put it back in the plumber's putty container to prevent it from drying. What I'm doing now is taking off the extra piping that is coming from the drainage this you can easily just take out just so we can flush it with the with the cap that's provided with the kit i'm using this handheld hacksaw again all the tools i use in this video i'll leave in the description down below 
I actually took out the saw itself so I can maneuver it a lot better as you can see right here. Taking off the excess, making it flush with the wall. Now that is very important. Here's a key trick that I like to use. I like to use this petroleum jelly. This is a type of lubricant. I'll leave it in the description down below. I like to put it onto this plug that came with the kit. Now this is a rubber type plug that you can put it right against that wall where you just cut off the drainage this is going to seal what i like to do is put a petroleum jelly on it and around this insert right here so that you can easily slide it in there without any um struggle since this pipe is so short i'll need to get an extending pipe so that it will reach this drain outlet right here so what for that I had to buy an extended uh, this West Brass inch and a quarter 12 inch slip joint extension tube. So uh, all this, um, this one I'll leave it in the description down below in case you need it. So this pretty much is an extender that we're going to put onto here so that we can reach it onto that outlet. And you can cut this to size as well. And this will go underneath. Or extension just like that easy insert the nut that was provided with the pipe and also with the rubber gasket it's just slide it on there and then slide on the extension tube now take the barrel and then insert it onto that extension pipe and then we're just gonna test fit it right for now now as you can see that this doesn't line up with the drain hole now this is 12 inches for a reason because it gives you an extra amount so that you can cut off whatever you need to cut off for excess. Here I'm just marking off with masking tape where um, that, that barrel is going to be sitting and then I'm going to be taking this barrel off once again so that I can test fit it. Now I'm using the pipe that was provided attached to it with the barrel and I'm just pretty much eyeballing it and then using my leveler so that I know that where I'm going to be marking it for it to be cut off. Now it's, I'm going to be using the square to pretty much match it, make sure it's nice and leveled and then I'm going to mark it with my masking tape so I know that this is the spot where I'm going to be taking off that excess to match it off with that drain hole. Okay, now once that's done, take off the existing masking tape, just leave the one that you first installed, take off the piping that you put on. Now I'm taking a 2x4 just so I can gain leverage. I am covering this with a microfiber towel so it doesn't scratch the finish of my um, matte black finish on my piping. Using a hacksaw and a handheld hacksaw. I like to switch in and off and which one's more better to use. Totally up to you um, but I like to finish it off with a handheld hacksaw and then I'm deburring the edges with my 120 grit sandpaper that was just lying around. Now I'm going to be fitting it once again. Make sure you take off, take that nut and then tighten it as you go. Take the barrel, unscrew the top screw nut and then insert it first. Insert the barrel and then you're going to be tightening this. And now that you can see that now it is properly aligned with the drain hole. Just like what you see here. Now after that's done. What you're going to do is now take off the barrel once again. I know it's a lot of repetition gonna, you're going to end up doing, but this is the proper way to do it. Take off the nut that's screwed onto the drain hole plug. Take now the uh, your excess inch and a quarter pipe. Insert the drain gasket and then make sure you tighten the nut like what you see here. We're going to mark it just like we did last time. We're going to use our masking tape. Take off the drain nut Take and then take it off once again. Fit it once again like what you see here. Tighten the barrel to the quarter inch pipe. Measure how far distance it is. As you can see here, I'm just pretty much rounding it to uh, six inches. Now from the marking that you just insert, it, you're going to mark to the six inch. But the thing here is I like to add an extra two inches. So we're going to put it instead of six inches, mark it to the eight inch hole. Because this is going to be going through the exit on that plug. Now that you marked it from here to the top portion, it's going to be 8 inches. Now we're going to be using a quick method here using my um, handheld hacksaw. Again, I'll leave these tools that I use in the bottom below. Deburr the edges again with 120 grit sandpaper. Now you can take off the piping once again because we're going to be maneuvering this. And it is very, very movable after you insert it. Now I'm going to be inserting the petroleum jelly at the tip so that this can slide through that uh, drain plug hole like what you see here. Inserting more petroleum jelly and then here is the cap cover 
for the wall that's why it's very important that you had that drain drain hole flushed so that this will cover it right through and this is a lot easier when you're using that petroleum jelly to get that quarter inch and a quarter pipe through that hole now let's put on the drain screw and then put the gasket insert the barrel right through and then we're going to maneuver this so that it slides through over that inch and a quarter pipe now we're going to take our level and make sure that this is nice and leveled before you tighten the nut once everything's level tight in the nut double check if it's nice and centered with the level like i see here nice and centered and it is nice and done now we can do now is take our drain cap and pretty much screw it right on and this what i love this feature it just pretty much pops on and off very very nice now let's test if everything is nice and tight and there is no leaks turn on your faucet and while it is running check down below for any types of leaks here you can see that there are no leaks like what i said using that putty makes a big difference it will prevent it from leaking at the joints as you can see there everything is nice aligned nice and leveled nice and perfect okay now let's test out to see if the disc drain plug works there we go it, the water starting to accumulate at the top and it's doing its job so now let's release all that water easy i love this feature it looks so clean it prevents you from using that drain rod that you we we used to use before everything is good to go again friends if you found this video super helpful please hit that thumbs up subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on diy's how to videos and product reviews that i do within this channel and i hope you found this a easy install and i hope to see you once again on the next video so stay tuned